Hey, today I'll show you how to create your own custom keyboard shortcuts for FineCode Pro 10. You know that the secret to having a great workflow in FineCode Pro and in any other uh, Pro application is to know how to use the keyboard shortcuts because that way you do things much, much faster. Now, FineCode Pro comes predefined with many, many keyboard shortcuts. You can see all of them here, but not every command has a shortcut and you can change or assign your own. So let's say here, for example, the open clip command has no keyboard shortcut and I want to assign one. Now, for instance, I like to uh, synchronize my clips with my audio and I go and I synchronize and there is a command for that, which is option command G. And normally right after I synchronize, I want to open the new clip that was generated, the synchronized one. And therefore I'm going to define a new keyboard shortcut using the same option and command, only instead of a G, I'll use the O key because O is usually used for opening stuff. Now, how do you do that? Well, you click on the Final Cut Pro menu and right under preferences, you see the commands menu. And here you see the default command set. And this is the one that I've already created for myself but I'm going to still open the default one and I'll select customize. This opens up this amazing uh, window here where you can see all the commands that have already been assigned. All these colors are defined here. You see editing commands and effects and general commands and marking commands, etc. If you click here, you see all the commands and here you can see them organized by their menu. So we're looking for the open clip command in the clip menu so I can go here to the clip menu and here it's sorted alphabetically because it's sorted by the command column. So here it is. Another thing I can do is just type here open and I get all the commands that have the word open in them. Now all I do is hit option command O and it tells me the default command set cannot be changed but I can make a copy. So let's make a copy and I'll call this example set and there you go, I've set my keyboard shortcuts for this command. The one step that I've skipped here is to make sure that the keyboard command that I want to assign is actually available. And you can see that by all those gray keys, if I unselect command, if I select shift, you can see everything that's free with just having a shift modifier. I can select shift and option together, and then you can see what's available. So a lot is available with shift and option. Okay, I can do the same thing on the keyboard. Let's say I hit control and command together. Okay, I can change and you can see anything that's available by clicking on your keyboard. Okay, so I'm happy with this command and I click on save. And now I can close this window. So now when I have these two clips selected, I just hit command option G to synchronize them. And once done, the new clip is automatically selected. I just hit command option O and there you go. Now I can make sure that it's synchronized correctly and make changes as I want. The one other thing you can do, you can import and export those command sets. That's very useful when you have a nice set and you want to move those to another computer, give them to a friend. If you have a similar working environment or you have a new computer for yourself, you can simply export those command sets and easily import them again. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos and please subscribe to this channel. Also, check out our website to see everything else we do and to get discounts for any of my courses. If you have any questions or would like us to cover a specific topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. See you next time!